Can you give him a mic? Welcome everybody to the final of the Primal Members handicap, handicap, the Christmas Handicap. We have in the final Andy Morrison, who's off 10 and he's getting a two start off Neil Smith, who's off, three, off 8. Andy Morrison's won the toss. Three balls sent, none of them reached the jack yet. And fourth ball's not reached the jack either. Morrison one, first end, referees Martin Bacon. The venue here is at the Panel Club, which is in West Orton, Lancashire, the home of the uh, professional game. And we've got Andy Morrison. He won the first end and he's playing Neil Smith. Morrison two. 13 8. Neil's not started yet. In the semi finals, Andy beat Tony May. I think it was 34 or 35. And Neil beat uh, Neil Jenkinson. I think it was the same score. And he sent the block off, but panel rules, you get two throws. <laughs> that is not a good lead. No need to say any more. No Neil. Danger of being on the tight side as well. Made you change your dates, Lee. Mm -hmm. 
Neil's going for another, but needs to run. Doesn't do it. But he gets his first point of the final. After being a panel game, this is first to 41. And you can guarantee Neil will not be going up and down that far edge. Left under my finger peg into the scoreboard corner. I don't need to tell you why it's called the scoreboard corner. Andy, it's too far with a miss. <coughs> that took a couple of yards of running off it. This goes through. Doesn't get one. And he's just wanting to know how far off they are. Playing a runner at it. No connection. Third, well, 10 13 and still play. Sending the balls from a different side of the map. So therefore, gets up and down, tries to get them down an edge. Not going to be playing on the same track, these two. Uphill, whatever direction you go from this corner they're playing from. Course Andy out. Not sure, not passing the jack again. Smith two. Twelve thirteen. <laughs> Good and got through the gap. <laughs> A couple of in short. And they just have a look at it. Whether to play a saber or to try and play weight at it. Now, again, doesn't get past the short bowl. <laughs> Goes in front with those two. Plays a better lead this time. Hides the jack. 
Andy making sure he reached. He's gone too far. But it's past the jack, so it's useful. Cattle can be useful. Only one ball to play here. Can move both of them with the right connection. Smith two, three in front, 16-13. <laughs> Left handed finger peg mark, bias away from the ditch, nothing for underneath. Just fancy Smith, let it tie. Well, I would think last ball's closest. Although Martin's puffing his cheeks out. Good judges, Martin. Now, Andy's coming down to have a look. So Martin's a good judge. So this is the first bowls final of the year, the Panel Christmas Handicap, held in the seldom sunny West Orton in Lancashire, home of the professional game. And this is a 64 competition, just for the uh, members here over the Christmas period. The other winter competition got, well, snowed off. And Andy Morrison counts the end and is now 16-14 behind and is not going down that edge. Into the sunny distance. Try and zoom in, but the, the hands are cold. Let's get one of those fancy things for this film. You can just see the jack. Been told he's four foot short, he's on different track. And this cannot be anywhere near the jack when it finishes. So I would imagine, imagine it kneels on, going for another, if he reaches. And it's not the finest example of corner play. Sorry, I zoomed in now. Last time he got in that corner, Neil played finger peg. Straight into the scoreboard corner. And I think he's looking at trying to do the same again. Left-handed finger peg. There's all kind of a subtle gully. Kick straight again. There's got to be a length, though. It's just finishing. Well, it's a good one from there, but it's beatable.
And he's on different track. He's underneath, right-handed, dragged it down. Dragged it underneath with different side of the mat. There's Neil's second ball. I said his first ball was beatable and it's done it. And his second ball. <laughs> Now, it was a very good ball, but it was a very unlucky ball. There was no, no guessing where Neil was going to go. Four in front. Pushing the jack a bit further than what he has done. Try and get the cold fingers to zoom. And he's probably a bowl short with his first, and Andy's not reached. I say this, this edge is in the shade now, so the moisture will be coming back up to the surface, and just deadening things, just catching Andy out. Smith two, six in front. <laughs> Say the panel's home. It's only known as the Red Lion when the pub was still going. Pub's now been converted into a nursing home if memory serves. So just across the road and the from if I go well behind me, the road behind me. And Andy again. Playing from different sides of the map these two. And Andy's dragged it underneath. Good ball from Neil. You would imagine Andy's got to go full weight at this. Six behind. Struck round peg at it to make it, try and make the target slightly bigger. Eight in it now. Dave is convinced he's short with that. And he is. Probably five foot short. I could dash round, it might warm me up. And he's played a length with his first. Neil's gone round peg at it to try and miss his first and has played a bad one. He might want that ball back. This is not a great one of Andy, so he didn't be in contact with the short balls. Not a someone. Fifteen twenty-two. You've got absolutely no chance of Andy Morrison playing down this edge. So he goes as far away from it as he can. Yeah. 
goes too far, goes off the green. So a kind man will chuck it back to him. I will try again. This was distance between the panel rules and the British Crown Green Bowling Association rules where the block would be now be transferred to Neil, Neil Smith to send. But Andy gets another go. They best not chuck it off this time though. And this isn't going off. And there's Andy's lead bowl. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. Of course, they're playing over the crown to the opposite corner and the problems that Andy's had. But has been playing from a different side of the mat to his opponent. That now transfers over to Neil. And this isn't short. Well, may have knocked it out, maybe line two, maybe one down. Neil's ball settles closer. Which is Morrison for one. Oh. Neil's second ball just comes into shot. <coughs> Not quite sure what he's obviously he's playing to try and move on these balls, but it was got closer to moving his own. I've got the extending, extending rod on to try and find who is closest. Morrison one. Morrison one. Six in it. Playing down to the opposite corner. An absolutely awful lead. It will stop in a minute. Well, hope you're watching this game in widescreen. Well, and the second ball passes Neil's. Well, not bad at all. <laughs> no, what kind of connection is that? Morrison one. See that good ball of Andy's, and here comes Neil's effort. Mm. He won't be happy with a second. Uh, 
Last bolt underneath. I'm not quite sure what he was trying to do with it. Well, it seemed, well he's trying to well, he's trying to knock it out and count two, but percentage ball may have been to have a strike at it. Quite good at putting the jack almost directly back from where they came from. It's to run, it's to run to be a good one and doesn't. Playing over the crown, downhill for the last well, 15 20 yards of travel. Still short. Over the crown now, Andy. Downhill, encouraging it further. <clears throat> Playing into the corner where the sun's gone off it, so it'll be getting damper. Furthest with a miss. The only real good one of the end. Yeah. Back onto his mark, left handed. Bias away from the ditch, playing a fallen mark. That's a good one for Mandy, that wins. He'll play to sit on the counting bowl, just missed it. If Andy gets another ear. If Andy gets another ear. Andy gets another ear. Just makes two of that. Back to within three. Right-handed, thumb peg mark over the crown, a couple of yards short at least, it's all uphill, it's all a long way uphill as well, here this ball normally wins. That ball's finished, must be four yards short. And he's not happy with this one either. That on the land. There's a big gap there. The block's a bit lonely. So Neil, Mage, he looks like he's passing his own. Coming at a different peg, obviously. But it's not, well... Awful, awful end. Both of them will be kicking themselves, but Andy will be going, well, at least they got two out of it.
Different mark. Nice of them to play down towards us. Again, over the crown. Couple of yards short. In the summer, this would normally be a quick finish. Downhill over the crown from now on. It's not a good eye that doesn't get past it. Knocks it a foot closer. Now the sun won. We have a level game, 23 across. <laughs> this is not a good one, trust me. Right handed thumb peg, other, other, pe other way for Neil, obviously. Made sure he's reached. <laughs> It's given Andy something to play at, and he's well, it's a much better effort, but it's gone out. Side touch it according to Martin Bacon. Neil's just on the outside of it, on the safer side. Smith 2, 25, 23, first to 41. I say a left handed thumb peg mark. Quick downhill finish. And a st stunningly good lead. Just, for these bowls, you're only, you're only dropping the bowl over the crown. Waste the bowl will take it down, but in these wet conditions, holding green, and just finish short. And Neil's played two absolute real ones, and Andy's really got to play at these. Jack goes off. <laughs> Neil's not, it's still too much in the middle of the green to get onto the edge, so goes a big uphill mark. It's uphill, it's uphill, it's uphill. It goes over the crown. Okay. 
I would imagine Neil's lying one. Yeah. Neil goes for another. Get one. But again, if you shift one, you shift the other. So it's either try and play a dead end, try and trickle the jack over to his bowl, or play weight on them. And he's took the latter option. And I don't quite know how he's moved one and not the other. Good bowl, Andy Morrison, unlucky with the outcome. Please note those who visit West Orton regular the beautiful blue sky. You can use this as recording because you don't send them, you, you don't normally see that when you come here. Length bowl from Neil, gone a couple of foot tight. And this bowl of Andy's needs to stop. Goes on, it goes on. If the green was a, a little bit drier, that probably would have gone off. They're going to have been a bit dry, he wouldn't have sent it so far. So. Lies two, lies. Well, he's 26 23 up now. Lies two to go 28. And here's Andy's bowl. Passing the jack again. May have stopped in though. Martin Bacon says it's taken one of Neil's on. Quick measure for second ball. Neil thinks he's two. <laughs> Neil may not be right. <laughs> Can't split them. They're putting the extending rod in. If they can't tell anymore, it's going to get more scientific. <laughs> they use straws here at the panel, so they may be getting one of them out. They can't split these. Neil Smith, two, probably by about a thirty second of an inch. Twenty eight, twenty three. And he's four foot short or so with that one. And this is way past the jack. You haven't got to go much past Andy's bowl to 
past the slope down to the dike, down to the ditch. One in, one out. Moving the jack. Plus to Andy's, means it's still only one to nail. Played a runner at it, missed it, missed his own as well. One more to Neil. Playing straight into the sun now. Obviously Andy with the cap, Neil without. Past that, Jack, and this is the real good one. Length ball, foot to the side, probably just under the foot to the side. And Andy, gotta be there. See, he told you there wasn't much room past the Jack. Comes Neil's second ball. Downhill, downhill, kicks on. Will it just gather by the jack? It does. Now Andy. Over the crown, swoops downhill. Sticks out again though. Two more. 8 in front, you wouldn't have thought there's any real need to change tactics. Struggling for length now by the looks of it. Mm. It's two yards in his first. Fairest bowl of the lot. Smith two. Ten in front. There are those that are saying that this is all over already. Too big a lead. No disrespect, I could do with a quick finish and freezing here. Slightly shorter mark. Over the crown, sweeps downhill. Kicks on down the slope, but it's not a good one. There's Andy's ball over the crown, sweeps down further than Neil's. This ball on Neil's. That connection with the jack was vital for it. You can imagine this is going to get struck off if... Thirty-four, twenty-three. First to 41 wins the games on the panel. 
left-handed Neil Smith plays for Metro Sports in the Manchester Premier League. Requires just seven more points to win the panel members' Christmas handicap. Held at <laughs> the panel's headquarters in sunny West Orton. And his bandies played a good one. <laughs> he was played at it. Oh, well, he's hit the right bowl, but he's had a bit of an unlucky finish. Martin Baker indicates that Andy Morrison's on. Can he get another? Would he prefer to take the guaranteed one on the jack? Yeah, one on the jack. Get away from this mark. As you'd imagine, going to try and something new. Playing a short mark though, fun peg, real short mark. This may not be a, this may not be a mark. Unsurprisingly. Neil wants it measured to see if it's gone the minimum distance. No. The two surveyors are Paul Harris and Billy, who's one of the members here. Fifty nine feet, which is three foot short of what it should be. But Andy gets two chances to set a mark. He's gone a little bit further, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Ponte! Neil wants it re rechecked again. <laughs> I think it's slightly further than what they measured last time, but not by very much. <laughs> Billy and Paul, no. the two surveyors. Minimum distance is 19 metres in the British Crown Green game, which is, I think, 62 foot 4 inches. 64 feet. I'll have to ask actually if the, uh, the panel's minimum distance is the same. I know with 19 metres or 62 foot 4 in the panel in the year, uh, which is Crown Green. Bad second from from Andy. He was played at Andy's ball. Good ball. That's what not not playing a good second does. Gives your opponent opportunity to cash in, and Neil has cashed in. Thirty six twenty four. Temperature's dropping. 
Let's see, and um, um, Neil's lead bow. Yeah, past the jack. Once again, boy, that's settled. Neil could sh shunt that out again. There's again, there's a buff. Buff it again. So, can Andy Morrison get another? Morrison 2, 36, 20, oh, 28, 36, so full play. He's trying to work out where to go is Andy. He's not played well in the corner. Look, he's not played well at all. That's the whole game compared to what he can do. Uh, there's, there's a decent lead from Andy, but Neil's put his, his bowl inside it. Right handed from Peg. Not a good one. He won't be happy with that, will Andy? And this is Neil's second ball, but this is not going to reach. One ball. Now, <laughs> requires four for game, 37-26. Going over the crown, and now he's looking to the corner. I think he's gone, looks to have gone left handed finger peg mark, playing to the side of the crown, and it catches the slope. And it should run and peg down to the jack, but he's not sent it. He's probably 10 foot short of the jack, but just needs probably six foot on it. So Andy really now needs to be playing a connection onto that counting bowl. He's got the back bowl, so doesn't need to move it very far. But what he absolutely cannot do is be short. Must give your bowl a chance. Thirty-eight twenty-six. Three points required for game. Neil Smith. Sent the jack off, it's returned. Second attempt to try and set a mark in at this end. Are you? 
This is staying on. There's not a lot of room past that, Jack. Uphill. Over the crown. Uh, not reaching again is on the half beam. All things of the game. I would imagine Neil's counted two with that connection. <laughs> well, a nullified end. Only moved the jack a yard, really, but it caught the slope and carried three or four yards more and went off the green. So, Neil playing into the sun. Over the crown. Over the crown now, sweeps downhill. Can I settle by the jack? Well, it's finished well, three foot away from the jack. It certainly doesn't need doesn't need three foot of running. This just passes it. Just wins. Just needs a Another revolution on his bowl, does Neil. It's too far. It needed, well, his lead bowl was three foot short, but it was only maybe a few inches of running. More even in the bowl to get it there. And he's played a good, good two. Thirty-eight, twenty-eight. Which corner will Andy be heading for? Playing like he can be playing towards the corner where everyone comes into the site. I think he's gone right hand as thumb peg. Good lead. Highs the jack from us anyway. All the way uphill. A couple of yards short and he'll be won't be happy with that, he's given his bowl no chance whatsoever. And Andy, making sure he's there with his second. <laughs> Neil's played at it. <laughs> Nullified end. According to the referee. <laughs> As the temperature continues to drop, Andy Madison's playing. Good lead. Oh, a tricky mark this. Playing across a ridge. If you're underneath, it'll drop off the green. He's trying to do to Neil what? He's trying to do to Neil what Neil was doing to him. Well, get to know that. 
they won't be easy to lick. You, you'd be not surprised if Neil played over. But hasn't. Has he reached? Has he played one? Or oh, into the back of Andy's bowl? Measuring for second. Measuring for second is the cry from the referee. The rod in it. Morrison won. 29 38 as they play. Could do with this finishing before frostbite sets in, if I'm being, being honest. Doing well keeping his bowl on on that edge. He's, I'm not quite sure what Andy's bowl's playing at. And I've near dropped the phone, so I apologise for that. But he's on, and he's played about four yards over. He's played Neil's bowl for me. Another one. Thirty, thirty-eight. Yeah, she back late. She's back late. She's back late. She's back late. She's back Edge, it's a sheer drop underneath if you go if you underneath the land. Uh, there's something wrong with it. There looks to be something wrong with it. But it goes it gets far enough. Neil's just come to have a bit of a survey, see what he can do. So it looks from the mat. Too low. Drops off. Back to within seven. <laughs> Sorry about this, cold fingers. Uh, a ball from Neil. Uh, 
Well, it may be the referee indicating that Neil Smith's lying one. That will get him to 39. Can he get another to get him to 40? The answer to that question I've just posed is no. Obviously Neil has decided, time for somewhere new, come towards the scoreboard corner, 39, 31 up, playing a left handed finger peg mark, <coughs> three, three and a half foot short of the jack. Four and a half feet according to the to the referee. And that must have little feet. This is, this is Donald Gordon from Neil. That needed another five or six foot in it. So Andy, last ball of the end. Does it get past on the underneath? It does. Thirty-two, thirty-nine. Right handed finger peg mark. Up into the opposite corner. And he's not played one. And Neil has played one. Well, even though, well. It obviously counts, but it's not a great ball. Beatable. Oh, Andy's magic cry. Get on as he reached. Aye, he has. Does Neil come at it? The other peg. He's, that's what he's playing for. Turned over. <laughs> On to someone. Six in it. 33-39. Didn't want to go along the edge. He's got that run with the jack. Wanted to play a distance. There's nothing past that jack. It kicks on. Kicks on. Will it stop? Not convinced that would have stayed on with a miss, but it didn't miss. Oh, condemned, he's condemned. Don't be short when you're down. Golden rule. 
So Neil Smith lies to get to 40. All over. The winner by a score of 41 to 33 is Neil Smith. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. If you've enjoyed, press the like button. As you see once more, the glorious blue sky in sunny West Orton. It's getting far too cold to carry on for me, so I'll wish you a happy new year, and I no doubt we'll see you around the green sometime. Take care, everybody.